Hi everybody. Happy New Year. This is Mama Martin from Mama Martin's Kitchen. Today I'm making split pea soup. I've already pressured the split peas, which is in the pot. The meat, I put beef, just regular steak in it, and we use salted beef, but I use corned beef brisket because I couldn't get that. But in the soup, you can also put tripe, you can put chicken, you can put whatever you want, pigtail, whatever you want to put inside in terms of meat, you can put to get flavors. So I, the meat was seasoned and everything, pressure to get it soft, and now it is in the soup pot. I'm, I'm gonna put in the seasonings and then cover it and leave it to boil up, maybe for about 10 minutes or so, and then I will start adding the um, things that I'm putting in. I'm not putting carrots today because I'm putting corn. I usually put corn and carrots. But because blood sugars are high, it, I'm not gonna put both because they ca it's natural sugar, but still, it can cause problems. And I'm going for my full physical next week, so I'm not trying to have crazy A1s. So I'm using sweet potato, corn, plantain. Back home, we boil the plantain and then we would tongue it and call it fufu. But I don't have mortar and pistol in here, so I'm using it into slices. And then I'm going to make the dumplings. When I make, get to the part of making the dumplings, I'll explain what I'm doing. So I'm about to put on the this to boil and leave it a couple minutes and then add the stuff. I'm putting paprika. This is my, as you guys know, my favorite seasoning. And then the garlic powder. Put, put a little bit of it. And onion powder. Just a little bit. Not too much garlic powder because this is soup. And then I will add these two vegetable cubes. And I'll taste to see my taste, but you will do the same. You add your seasonings and then you taste to get the taste you want. I put a little bit of chopped onion in it. You can put, I think here you call it green onions. We call it eschalot. You can put that if you, that is what you have. You just work with what you have, because this is soup and you're trying to get a nice taste for that you want. I just put a little bit of um, chopped onion in it. Okay, now I'm adding the sweet potatoes. I already had my taste. I have the taste I want. I'm adding sweet potatoes. And the sweet potato was in water. I put it in water to keep it from changing the color. This, these are the plantains. I also put it, leave it soaking in water so it doesn't get black. Because green planting has a lot of iron, you leave it out, it gets black. So, I'm taking it out of the water and putting it in. And I'm adding the corn. Remember, I'm not putting any um, carrots. You can. And I cover it and allow this to boil, cook. And then I'll make the dumplings to go in. Okay, I'm just turning up to make sure that everything is um, cooking right. That's the corn there and sweet potato and planting and the meat. Now I'm gonna mix the dumpling to put it in there in a little while. Okay, I'm making the dumplings now. Let's put a little bit of water in the bowl, depending on how much dumplings you want. When you're making it for the first time, don't put too much because then you will have too many dumplings. It's water, just a pinch of salt and a little bit of sugar. And I'm going to put some butter in it, mix it up with the flour and drop it out in the soup. No baking powder because it is not supposed to rise. Just supposed to be nice and soft and enjoy melting in your mouth as you eat it. So I have the water, the salt, the butter. And now I am going to put the flour. Let me 
dry this so I could put the old flour without any without making a mess. Because the bag has too big a tear, so I can't clean it and it's a big bag. Just mixing, make sure everything is smooth, no lumps. Well, I'm hoping that I have no lumps, because as you guys know, I don't see. <laughs> I don't see very well, so I'm gonna assume I have no lumps, but then Daily Daily standing up right here, one would think that she will tell me you have lumps. soft it is so I'm just going to dip drop it in dip drop it in you just put it all different parts of the pot so they don't stick on each other by the time they collide they will have already started cooking Finish dropping the dumplings. If you look in the soup there, at the soup there, you're not seeing them because they haven't cooked yet to rise to the top. So I'm going to cover it and leave it there to cook them, and then it's finished. Finished product, everybody. Soup texture, corn cooked, sweet potato cooked to perfection, one dumpling. They're small and they're soft, they will melt in your mouth. And this is, this is it. In yours, you can also add potatoes. Regular potatoes, Irish potatoes. I don't put that anymore because as I said, blood sugar, A1Cs. You can also put yucca, which we call cassava. You can put that, you can put hard yams that you would get at the, you know, the Caribbean or the Mexican market. You can put anything that we call ground provision. That's what we call that, those, those things in the soup. But I have to watch what I put because. So you can put anything, you put tripe, you put chicken, you put oxtail, you can put pigtail. Pigtail is from the pig, oxtail is from the cow. Well, thank you very much for watching. It's been nice. Please continue to have a blessed and safe year. Please remember to subscribe and like. God's richest blessings. Thanks again. See you soon.